Texas A&M has arrived in Alabama. They'll stay Friday night in Birmingham, bus over to Tuscaloosa tomorrow, where inside Bryant-Denny Stadium at 2.30, it is number one Alabama against number six, the Aggies. And we've got defensive tackles coach David Turner with us right now. And, and coach, it's it's kind of a return for you. You once spent time at Alabama, but uh, the task at hand, I'm in brief, but uh, the task at hand tomorrow, their quarterback, Jalen Hurts, he can kind of get outside, he can run around. What's that mean for the defensive tackles and the guys up front? Well, I think we got to do a great job of, of first keeping him in the pocket. You know, he can beat you with his legs as well. Um, we got to do a good job of trying to get him off his spot and get some pressure on him. But the most important thing has got to be a coordinated rush with the front four, and, and we don't want him out of that pocket running around where he can create some problems. The week of prep, how would you rate it? Uh, as this team never seems to really get ahead of themselves, even though this is such a big game tomorrow. Yeah, I think the guys, they've, they've had a really good couple of weeks, uh, been really focused. Uh, I think they understand what's at stake here. I think they're anxious to get out there and, and uh, show the world that there's not a whole lot of people that's got a lot of faith in us, you know, being able to win the game. But the good thing about it is you still got to play. And uh, the guys are excited about this. It's a challenge. You know, Alabama's been in this position a lot, and, and uh, it's relatively new to us. But, but the guys are looking forward to it, and it ought to be a great football game. Thanks for the time. Good luck in it tomorrow. Thank you. And Ricky, I'm guessing you guys have talked about the matchup for a little while. This receiving core against the Alabama secondary, it'll probably be key, and it's two quality groups against each other. Right. Uh, you know, they're a great group of guys who's, uh, you know, they got great chemistry. So we just got to come out and play our game, you know, and uh, do our do our thing. You know, they're going to be it's going to be a hostile environment, but you know, we just got to come in, come there and take care of business. The 50-50 balls, you think that's important tomorrow, those ones that are up for grabs? I mean, who can take them, who can go get them? Yeah, that's a very big thing. Uh, just, you know, third down and just throwing the ball up and, and keeping us on the, on the field is a big thing with them because, you know, they're, they're a team who likes to eat the clock a lot. So the longer we can stay on the field and score points, the better off we are. Finally, people want to make this into a big game, but is this team just taking it as the next one as usual? Oh, yeah, you know, uh, it's hype all around it, but you know we're just thinking, hey, hey this is this is just another week, another opponent our way of what we're trying to do, and uh, you know we're just trying to come here and knock them off. Thanks for the time. Good luck tomorrow. Appreciate it. We were talking to David Turner earlier. Uh, Jalen Hurts, their quarterback. He's a native Texan, but he can run around pretty good. What does that mean for you in these defensive ends? Well, we just got to do a good job of uh, containing the pocket, trying to collapse the, to the, the pocket to help contain and uh, so he won't break the pocket. And because he's a real mobile quarterback, and when he gets uh, when he starts running on his feet, he, he's very explosive. Also, uh, is it people want to make this a big game? But do they all start to feel that way this season in these SEC contests that just keep rolling at you guys? Yeah, every game's a big game. And when you're winning, and you're undefeated. Every game's a big game. And then you can't you can't be off your game, so we just got to keep going and keep preparing, and uh, and it's, it will be a good game tomorrow. Also, you guys are coming off of a bye week. Uh, how did you spend it? Did, do you feel it came at the right time for this team? Yeah, I feel the bye week came at a, at a right time. Uh, everybody's feeling good now. Uh, everybody that was bumped that was bumped up is feeling real good now, and uh, we get, we got another week to um, to get ready mentally for Alabama. So I feel like that was a big a big edge for us. Thanks for the time. Good luck tomorrow. I uh, appreciate it.